There's a new tool being used in Atlantic Canada to fight a summer pest, drones, to map out specific areas. A novel approach that's also said to be better for the environment. Here's CTV's Sarah Plowman. They're on a mission against the masses, outnumbered by a long shot. Crews are calling in a new tool in the mosquito fight, drones. What we're really trying to do is just minimize the impact of the mosquitoes in these built up areas. They now have two. One's job is to map out the marshes, flagging standing water where mosquitoes breed. The larger drone will target those areas and spray a larvicide. It's fully autonomous, so I'm really there just for emergency scenarios. Today's wind grounded the larger of the drones, but controlling mosquitoes this way is expected to be better for the environment. Instead of trudging through the marshes in all-terrain vehicles, they can fly and spray with precision. With the drone, there's no limitation in terms of the terrain where you can and can't go. The larvicide is a naturally occurring bacteria found in soils. It only affects biting flies. Targeted way of going after those mosquitoes without wiping out all the other insects that give us all those benefits without wiping out nature. While the mission is to combat a nuisance, as mosquito-borne diseases creep farther north, North, a more effective control program could have public health benefits. With climate change and shifting climate patterns, uh, certainly something that we're maybe not as well insulated from as we'd like to think we are. Today would have been the team's first chance to spray the larvicide from that large drone had it not been so windy. They're anxious to get it out and see how well it works. Sarah Plowman, CTV News, Moncton.